Star Wars or Star Trek? You know, I like the idea of Star Trek, you know, where you, you know, you're visiting these places, you don't interfere with what's going on. There's something about that lightsaber that I really like too. Like I would want one of those. <laughs> Scott Kelly, a former NASA astronaut and retired U.S. Navy commander. Okay, we'll get. We'll I mean, get captain. Did I say commander? Captain. What's the creepiest thing you've encountered while on the job? I had to clean up a gallon sized ball of urine mixed with acid, essentially, the sulfuric acid that is mixed with the urine, basically keeps the uh, toilet from, from clogging up, if you could imagine something like Drano. Where's your head at when you're about to go on that first run? Well, the first time you launch, you're thinking, wow, I'm just ready to do the coolest thing I, I've ever done. And oh, by the way, I could get killed doing it. Once the clock gets to zero and those solid rocket motors light, that thing just lifts off the launch pad like a bat out of hell. So what did you hold on to from being aboard the space station? You know, I'm not a big collector of like space memorabilia because I feel like I'm space memorabilia, so I don't need anything else. I think these are the glasses I had up there. I'm still wearing them. I think they're on their last legs. Did you feel, quote, smarter once you got back on Earth? definitely have a different perspective when you've spent time in space. Some people refer to this as the orbital perspective, a sense of being more empathetic to the environment and the human condition. So, you know, not necessarily smarter, maybe uh, just change for the better. Looking out at the Earth, seeing how incredibly beautiful it is, but uh, also noticing the fragility of the atmosphere, the pollution that's over certain parts. You look out at the planet and that is all humanity and with the exception of you and your crewmates. Kind of makes you think, you know, if we worked together like we do in space, maybe we wouldn't have so many problems. Are dreams any different in space? I had a dream about me and my brother going outside the space station for a spacewalk. Neither of us had spacesuits on because we uh, were only going to be out for a short period of time and we thought, well, we can probably survive. And we go outside and the space station is like completely covered in like snow and ice. Like some kind of winter wonderland. I don't remember much after that. <laughs> Did you have any noticeable differences between you and your brother? Not much, only that I was uh, smarter and more uh, good looking than my brother Mark when I got back. <laughs> I actually uh, actually stretched a little bit in space. I grew two inches, but uh, quickly gravity pushed me back down into place. Anything you'd do differently if you were going back? Only thing I would do differently is I would bring less stuff. And I would tell people when they send me care packages, make sure there's nothing in them. <laughs> it's just stuff you gotta deal with and manage and everything floats. So this is the type of en environment where absolutely less is more. Growing up, you read science fiction. If you were you know, penning science fiction now, what would be in your, your film or your book? I got a great science fiction book movie idea. It's unbelievable. 
I'm not going to share it with you. No, we won't tell you. We won't tell you.